what's going on guys my name is Shane and this looks like a vlog it looks like a vlog because I spend so much time in the car chit chatting with you guys but we are actually starting I don't want to call it a series because I don't know a how often this will be happening and I don't know I don't want to call it a series just yet but I came up with an idea that I really wanted to do with my daughter and you know if I have more kids in the future with them as well kind of just like a bonding and a fun thing um, so my daughter loves filming videos with me every time the video camera comes on she wants to be a part of it and I've been trying to f figure out how to incorporate her because she's still so young that there's still a lot that we can't do but there's still a lot that we can do so I know I have been doing some movie theater or yeah movie reviews trailer reviews we did the Little Mermaid and we also did Aladdin and we're also gonna be doing the Lion King if that is not already up so I wanted to not only do those trailer reaction reviews but I also wanted to go actually go the see Lion King yeah, the Lion King is coming out, but I actually wanted to make this like a video thing. So instead of just talking about some movies, we're going to actually talk about the movies that we saw and if we would recommend it. And I'm bringing my four year old with me. So it'd be great for like parents to know what we thought of it, if it's worth bringing your kids to it or not, because my child is very, very, very difficult to gain her attention for a long period of time um so there uh, she'll tell me she'll you'll know right away if she's enjoying a movie or not um and i just thought it could be a fun little thing that we could do to bond and it gives us something to do and gives us excuses to go see some more movies because i love kids movies so that's really exciting so that's what we're gonna do today we are actually heading up to a theater that i don't think i've ever been up to we're going to hooks it in New Hampshire today we're going to I believe it's called Cinemagic or Cinemax possibly <laughs> we'll figure that out once we get there but that's where we're going today and we're gonna go see the movie called Missing Link I believe Zach Galifianakis is the one who uh, is the voice actor for the main characters so that's really exciting knowing knowing Gal Zach Galifianakis is just such a funny actor I'm very much looking forward to that but we'll talk to you guys once we get there you know we might have been to this theater maybe once or twice. It kind of looks familiar, but we don't really ever come up here. The only reason I picked this theater was because it had a convenient movie time, yeah. which were about 15 minutes before the start of the movie, which is perfect. I went back to Walmart and I got stuck in front of the store. So let me find some parking real quick. What I like about the mornings too, especially on weekdays, is it's not busy. So it's nice. My daughter and I get to go in. We usually have the theater to ourselves. If not like one other person there or something. But Alright. You, you ready to go see? We're going to go see a movie that's yeah. called Missing Link. Yeah, but I know. It's so weird. What's weird? We haven't even seen the movie yet. When we come back out, we got to tell them all about it, okay? Without any spoilers, maybe. Ready? And and what's at, at the link? Orange. Oh, this one is like a pineapple. All right, we are in theater number four. Okay, we're at seven. Look. Well, there's a bunch of new movies coming pretty soon that we'll have to go see. At seven, yeah, six, but... we're all the way down there. Yeah. What? Where is the? Whoops. Whoops. You got it? Yep. It's right over here, sweetie. Mm. Do you see the number four? No. We got the theater all to ourselves. This is even the right theater four, right? We should do this one. Oh, sugar. Oh, gosh. All right, Ella, hold on. We're in the wrong one. My goodness, we walked into the wrong theater. Luckily, there was no one in there, but we need 14, not four. Yeah, it's all the way down at the other end. All right, here's 15. 15. Ella, 14, honey. Okay, we got it. Okay, bigger theater. Still empty. There's not even anything on the screen yet. You guys can't see anything. Okay, we're F, 10, and 11. So here's F, number... Well, I really wanted 
Thanks, and Juban. This is weird, but I also haven't been to a movie theater, like, as it's starting in a very long time. I've always tried to like show up a few minutes later, but we got here faster than I thought. And it's two minutes till the movie's start time. Um, and, and this is what we're looking at. <laughs> so I'm hoping, I don't know if maybe the previews start at 12? That'd be when you went to the wrong one. No, this is the right one. We went to the wrong one the first time. That was number four, that was silly. Um, but how much you can take off your jacket, wait for it to start. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, see if the preview starts, and we'll go from there. But I'm glad to see previews because then that way I can, I know definitely, you know, Aladdin, Lion King, probably the Pikachu movie. Hey, Mom, can I just have your phone instead? <laughs> We're at the movies. No. Will you just what, for one minute when the movie starts, I can watch it? Please. <laughs> ah, it's so loud. <laughs> but it started. Goodness. All right. All right, come on, baby. So what did you think of the movie, honey? It was so nice. It was, an, it was a very nice movie. It was one of those movies that... It wasn't like, I mean, it was animated, but it was one of those like claymation. Oops, grab your babies. Got it? No, we won't, baby. Yeah, it was one of those like claymation movies, but it was really, really cute. Really cute story behind it. Would you go see that movie again, Ella? Maybe I'll watch it with Riley and Jackson and Mimi. <laughs> Maybe we can see it with your family. Yes, your cousins and one of your Mimi's. Definitely a really cute movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so what were my final kind of thoughts on the movie? A, I would like to answer if I would go see it again. Um, it was really cute. If I was given the option to go see Wonder Park, which we saw a couple weeks ago, um, but I wasn't doing this series at the time, but we saw Wonder Park. If I had the choice to see one of those two again, Missing Link or Wonder Park, definitely Wonder Park, but that's not to say The Missing Link wasn't just really, really cute. And um, Wonder Park made me kind of feel more emotions. Like Wonder Park made me laugh and made me cry, made me do all of that. The Missing Link, really, it had me laughing. Um, there was more a lot of like kind of slapstick humor for the young kids. There was a lot of adult humor that I caught up on and, you know, had me cracking up and she had no idea. So there is adult humor. So if you're a parent bringing your kid, um, don't worry, you're still definitely yeah, gonna enjoy it. Yeah, it's probably scary. It was, it, it, it was a little tiny bit scary for her, um, definitely near the beginning. And it wasn't like, you know, a horror scary movie. It was just like, there was like a sea monster involved that kind of made her a little scared. So if you have like, really really young ones maybe the missing link you want to wait a little bit longer on but she's almost five at this point the only thing is i've never really been a huge fan into claymation projects i like them like i liked chicken run um there was another one that i just watched not long ago that was claymation as well this one was probably one of the best ones I've seen done with the claymation but again it's that kind of style so if you're not into that or like you know your kids aren't into that they're probably not gonna like it but it had a good storyline it was a little bit slow at the beginning too kind of setting up the scene there was just a lot of like adult talking um, not saying that was inappropriate but what I mean by that is like kids wouldn't really understand what they were like talking about not all of it but some of it. I'm just trying to think of anything else I would want to know as a parent going into this movie. I definitely recommend seeing it. I think it's really cute. I didn't regret going to see it. Like I said, if I had that movie or another animation movie to choose from, I might choose another animation movie. But we'll see. Is it like a... Is it a movie that I would want to buy and have at home? Kind of 50-50 on that one. I wouldn't be heartbroken mm -hmm. if I now didn't. Want Wonder Park at home? See, she's already talking about Wonder Park. <laughs> so with that being said, you know, I always encourage you guys 
to go check out these movies yourself or anything that I do a review on to check it out yourself because my opinion might not be your opinion and it could be your next favorite movie. Um, so I definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's a really fun, family friendly movie, definitely. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. I wanted to try to get a, I was looking for like the movie poster everywhere to try to get a picture of us in front of the movie poster or something for a thumbnail, but I didn't. So we're on our way home now. I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for watching this first kind of uh, different review setup. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so looking forward to basically from May until the end of the year. There are so many movies that are coming out that I'm looking forward to. If you guys have any suggestions for movies, and it doesn't have to necessarily be kids movies because my husband and I love going to see movies if we get the opportunity for date nights. So if there's a movie that you really want to see or have any suggestions, please find me on my social media, um, on my Instagram or my Facebook. Find the thumbnail of this video and leave your comments or questions on that picture and I'll make sure to check it. Anyways guys, Ella, can you say bye? Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> no, you've been trying to talk this whole time and now that I say that we can say goodbye, you don't want to say anything? <laughs>